is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. from when I showed my whole little shower routine last night um I just I've been having like these random waves of just sad like sometimes I know why I'm sad sometimes I don't um and I know I kind of touched on this a couple of vlogs ago um but then I was like okay for a little bit but now I'm back to like just random sadness and like i said sometimes i know what it's about sometimes i don't also my period's about to come on oh my gosh in my last vlog i literally said something about my period going off i think i was talking about that cranberry juice girl as soon as i fixed my mouth to say that now i'm having period symptoms like i can't you can't make this stuff up i just feel like it's so annoying that we as women really have like one week to feel okay leading up to my period is hell the week of my period is hell and then it's like you have that week after where you're just kind of like you're okay your body looks kind of good like you're in that ovulation stage so like you look good you feel good and then after that it's just like back downhill so yeah i don't know if it's because of that <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm just like sad and like kind of moody because of that like I don't know I feel like it's just been like mm, Not feeling it. So yeah, I just kind of decided to do some self-care and 
just allow myself to like kind of like be sad in the shower and try to get myself back on track for today because the show must go on um you know it is what it is so yeah anywho i just feel like i want to just slap the hell out of life like if life was a person i would slap the hell out of it because it's just like you're being annoying as hell now like it's not even like that life is unfair it's just like you're being annoying life is annoying so that's how i'm feeling but anyway i so yes a vlogmas day one went up last yesterday i would say last night um so thank you for tuning in thank you for showing up for me i really appreciate it um yeah i kind of went ghost on youtube for like two weeks and then popped up for vlogmas so i'm really happy that you guys are loving it and are excited um i need to reply to some comments i was replying to some yesterday and then like i said i just after i uploaded it it was just like kind of like i don't know why i just was just like that's it i'm tapped out not even tapped out but i just uh, just a random wave of sad came over me and i just i really can't explain it so i just was like yeah that's it so i think around five o'clock i got in the shower like five six o'clock um did the whole shower thing that you saw the whole montage the whole vibiness um did my hair and then i got in bed and I was editing a vlogmas day too. So that was my night. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I got to reply to some comments. And I just want to say thank you for showing up for me. Y'all always show up for your girl. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, one of the questions was asking about... Uh, my intro, like what did I do for my intro and stuff like that. So I get, like, I think I want to show y'all that. It's nothing, it's literally nothing. Obviously my intro is like nothing special. Um, very plain Jane vibes. Um, I use Canva for that, for my intro. If you're a content creator and you don't have Canva, please get canva i mean canva is free but no get the subscription it's like 13 dollars a month i know that might sound crazy but no canva is everything you can do everything and anything on canva like i cannot recommend it enough um canva and cap cut like get those even if you're not a content creator still use canva you don't have to pay for it because i feel like you wouldn't need all of the features um and also, if you're not a content creator, still download CapCut because that's free on the App Store and it's amazing. So, yeah, I used Canva, like I said. Um, that I made the intro, I think, on today's Friday, December 2nd. I made the intro on, I think, November 30th. So, I got my intro song off of SoundCloud. It's just called. I think it's Christmas Lofi, Lofi. I just literally typed that into um, SoundCloud. SoundCloud has a lot of free uh, and non copyright, copywritten, copyright music. Um, so yeah, I literally just typed in Lofi Christmas songs because usually, like the Lofi, Lofi, Lofi is. Um, like non-copywritten so yeah i think that was like let me see i think that was like the first one it was two there's two which i first of all i freaking love charlie brown like i grew up with watching charlie brown um i can't wait to do it with my kids and so um there was one with charlie brown where he was just talking and i like that one too i think i'm gonna download that to just have for a montage but then i found my intro and it's a song like i'm gonna play it real quick fire so um when I saw that, 
I was like, okay, this is it. This has to be my intro. Like, I love Charlie Brown, and I love that he was, like, saying, like, can anyone tell me what Christmas is all about? It was just everything. And then it's an actual song, but I was like, instead of using, like, the songy portion, I can just save that, like, save the song portion for just a montage, but have him talking as my intro. So, um, I found this... I want to say like sometime last week and I saved it and then I was like still browsing because girl it's been so hard trying to find non-copyright Christmas music so I was like if I find something else I'll come like I'll use that or I'll just come back to this so on um on the 30th I was just like if this is it like I just can't like I feel like this is so cute like I would love to like show this to my kids in the future like you know my old vlogs stuff like that and I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever so I was like I want to just use that part and then I created the intro and I showed Isaiah and he loved it and I was just like okay it's a wrap so yeah it's on SoundCloud for SoundCloud all you have to do is just um copy the link to the song that you want and then just google like SoundCloud to mp3 and then you just insert the link and then hit convert and then you can download it to your computer and then it's on your computer and it's saved and you can use it as much as you want so that's where i get a lot of my music i do get questions about that i get my stuff from soundcloud and i also just type into youtube not copyright music and um people create videos with music that's not copywritten so yeah um it's really hard finding good music so yeah, that's a little insight. I am, it's 10.50. I don't know if I said that. I've just been um, straightening up and stuff because our cleaning people are coming today. Thank the Lord. Um, we're still recovering from Thanksgiving. Like, my washer and dryer is running right now because I'm just now getting around to washing the sheets that, like, our guests were sleeping on. Our laundry room is just a train wreck. Um, so I'm trying to get that together. I had to like load up the dishwasher, try to get, try to, I try to straighten up for them as much as I can so that while they're here, they're just doing like kind of like a deep clean um, and not really having to like organize anything. Like I like to make their life easier because they're so sweet um, and they do a great job. So yeah, they're coming at two. So I don't know what we're going to do while they're here. We're going to go somewhere. I don't know where though. So yeah, I'm trying to get uh what's it called what is it called i'm trying to get vlogmas day two together it's like i did the rough edit i'm kind of behind on editing um but i did the rough edit just watch it through one more time just to make sure it's like good to go no errors or anything and then yeah there's not really a lot of montages in this i mean you would have seen it already but this isn't one of my videos where it's like boom boom cat hitting the beats and stuff type of situation it's not like that it's just like a lot of talking and trying on stuff i really love my loading screen like with my little santa hat like i love it so much it's, i just love it like i can't not have a loading screen anymore because it's just like i don't know i just like it to be like an event for y'all like you're watching you're not just sitting here watching clip after clip after clip it's like you know what i mean I have something else to say to y'all. Oh, I did my wallpaper for December. December is the best month, period. Fight your mom. I'm sorry. It's just the best. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't make the rules. Like, I'm so, so, so sorry. But it's just really the best month, period. Um, so I'm going to insert probably like my little TikTok of my wallpaper. I'm so so obsessed with it i love it so much um i create these now every month this is now a new series on my tiktok um i think i started for halloween and i'm gonna just do one every month so i just have like sag season santa baby merry and bright hello december um you filthy animal express your elf like just a whole bunch of like cute little stuff so i love how this turned out and then my wallpaper is the grinch because the grinch is like my favorite ever like i'm obsessed with the grinch so um it's just a four o'clock a wallow and self-pity 4 30 stare into the abyss 
5 o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me, can't cancel that again. And 7 o'clock, I wrestle with myself, loading, I'm booked. Um, it's so funny because I created that yesterday. And I was definitely feeling like pitiful. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's just the funniest thing. But yeah, y'all know that's a part of the movie. He says that um, in the movie. All of these are available for you guys. It's just on my Pinterest. My Pinterest will be uh, in my description box if it isn't already. And yeah, you can just go on, download it, and um, save it to your phone. This is just like a fun thing that I like to do now. It's, I don't know. I just, I really love it. So yeah. That's it. I'll insert the TikTok um, and I'll insert an up close picture of both the wallpaper and my home screen. And I created all of them in black and white also because the girlies love black and white apparently. So yeah, that's about it. I'm also make a smoothie though because I didn't have dinner yesterday. The only thing I had yesterday was that croissant that I showed y'all. So yeah, I'm about to do that. And we're about to use the new blender and see how this works out. I'm gonna also film the TikTok because I think I might wanna post that today. So I'm filming in my room because um, my counter, I don't, I'm not a fan of my counter. Sometimes my counter makes uh, my videos like too dark. So I like to film on my dresser sometimes when I'm really trying to go for like hardcore aesthetics. <laughs> so, I know it's like so dumb, but yeah. So I have it set up and ready to go. And Isaiah said he wants one too. He likes more sweet smoothies, like not really like green smoothies. Like, you know what I mean? Like not with like veggies and stuff like that. Like he doesn't mind it, but his preference is just like, a sweeter version not a sweeter just without the veggie type of situation so for his i'm just going to do strawberries from trader joe's the frozen ones and i love this tropical tropical blend tropical mix yeah from trader joe's also this is mangoes pineapples bananas and strawberries so for him he's going to have that and then for me I love these so much. These are the Evi smoothie cubes. And technically, you don't need a blender for these. Like if you just put them in a bottle and let them melt, you can just drink them like that. Um, so I have the sapphire one. And then I have the yogi one. So a blue and a green. This has like pineapple, oranges, bananas, cauliflower and stuff. This one has like bananas, pears, kale, stuff like that. I love these. I had made this in one of my TikToks and I got so many questions on it. And I don't know if there's that I don't know if they're at every supermarket, but I got mine from my just regular local supermarket, like not even like sprouts or um whole foods, like not the healthier supermarkets, but just like my regular local supermarket in the freezer section. So yeah. They just look like this. And technically you're supposed to just put all of these into a bottle and let it melt and then you can drink it like that. But I like to just use like maybe like two or three of these little um, triangles because I just like the whole, like I'm, I can just get more bang for my buck. Like I don't need the whole, you know what I mean? Like the whole thing when I can just use three, add a banana, add some milk, blend it and I'm good. That's usually what I do. So it comes with two of these in each bag. So technically it's supposed to make two smoothies but for me, I make it stretch by using just um, two or three, like I said. I love these. Highly recommend. They're so easy. Like, I feel like if you're a mom or, you know, you're working and you just need something, like, quick in the mornings, is that's perfect. Because it's, like, it's jam-packed with stuff that you need for your body and that's good for you. But it's, like, so simple to make. Because even if you don't blend it, you can still, like I said, put it in a bottle and just take it with you to go. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm also gonna use oat milk. I love oat milk, so um, I love this for my smoothies, my matchas, y'all know the drill. So. so I have it plugged up um, over here. And since I'm gonna be making two different types of smoothies, I'm just gonna be using the little uh, vessel so that I can just make two separate batches for Isaiah and I. And 
another thing I want to mention about this blender is that, you know, it has the max line right here. I hope it's showing up on camera. So you can't fill anything up past that, which that's a good chunk of like space that you're kind of like wasting. So again, it's like, it's pretty and everything. And we're about to see how it blends, but I just feel like it's just very, very, very small. Um, and also it's recommended to put your fruits and stuff in like your solids first and then your liquids and obviously don't go past the max line. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. I'm about to montage it for y'all and make it real nice and aesthetic with some good music. And um, I'm gonna come back on here and we're gonna taste it. And I got this new cup from Amazon that I'm gonna use. It's just like this cute little tumbler. It's glass and then it has a straw. And I just washed it because it's like fresh out the package. Super pretty. TikTok. Um, I don't know if I'm going to include that clip in this vlog, um, but I'm going to show you Isaiah's. Girl, this is amazing. Like, it blends for like maybe like a minute, a minute and a half. When I tell you this is like the smoothest smoothie ever. And look how pretty. Like, it's so pretty. I gotta take a picture of it for the thumbnail. But, girl, it's so fire. I love it. I love it. 10 out of 10. It's not too loud. It's not clunky. Um, it's really simple, minimalistic. You just press the button, you can pulse it, or you can just hold it and it'll go on its own for like a minute, minute and a half. Yeah. 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 I did that. It's fire. I hope it's still on sale in case you're interested. If not, put it on your Christmas list, your Hanukkah list. Girl, get you this. You don't even taste any of like the cauliflower like you don't taste anything it just tastes like a banana smoothie kind of so if you don't like bananas don't add bananas to it maybe add like some other fruit but if you do um it just tastes like banana i like adding banana because it just makes it smooth like a frozen banana even like a, a um just a regular banana not frozen it makes your smoothies so smooth so i can't like not ever add a banana so mm-hmm that's it. I want to just touch on one last thing before I end this vlog so that I can start the next vlog. It's nonstop filming. 
Um, okay, so I have an idea. Where's my phone at? I have all these ideas for Vlogmas in my phone. But I have an idea that I want to run by y'all. Um, by the time y'all see this, I may have already started filming. Uh, but I don't know if it'll be like live yet. So let me know um, what your thoughts, your opinions, your uh, vibes are. So I don't know if I told y'all, but I have this um, camcorder and I love it so much. I've been like filming just like my day to day, like just random stuff every now and then. Um, just for memories, for my kids, for me. I don't have any home movies of myself when I was younger and that's something I definitely want to do um, for my kids. So I started doing like these vintage vlogs on TikTok. I only did one just to kind of like test it out and I really liked it. So I'm thinking that probably like um, every, hmm, I don't know how many days, maybe like every five or six days instead of recording on my sony zv1 i record on this for you guys and it'll just be like a vintage vlog it's not going to be like super high quality it's not going to be the worst quality but it's not going to be like obviously my sony zv1 um and it'll just probably be like no more than like a 10 minute vlog um because i don't want you sitting through like not the best quality like don't get me wrong this one is fire it 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 produces nice quality it's just not what we're used to at this uh, day and age um, so let me know if that would be something that you would be into and it'll be like I said maybe every five or six days like it'll probably only be three of these type of videos but they'll be for vlogmas so um, randomly you'll be getting a vintage vlog and it'll be filmed all on my camcorder so let me know what you think about that if you're into that if you're not feeling it because you know it's not going to be like top-notch quality um or let me know if you're feeling it because it'll be something different like i feel like this was just like such a cute and different idea and you know i'm just trying to do what i can to make it like fresh original fun for y'all like um i haven't seen anybody with this idea so let me know what y'all think um, i'm going to probably start recording on this tomorrow so that in case you do like the idea i have some footage already um, but like I said, it won't be, it probably will be like no more than 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, let me know. I just think that's so cute. So yeah, this is also from Amazon. It should be in my storefront. So if you're interested, it was like $60. So you have to buy the SD card. It comes with batteries and you just charge it. But like I said, I'm starting this early because I want to like get the hang of it for, you know, when I do have kids, um, capturing every single moment. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for Vlogmas Day. What day is this for? I will see y'all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 5. I can't believe like we're actually doing this. Like We're deep in this now. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. If you have any suggestions for content, whatever you want to see, let me know. Um, and yeah, love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow.